A test flight of one of the two twin-seat prototypes, the KF-21-004, developed by Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, took place at Seishin Air Base, South Korea. For the first time in the project's history, the aircraft was piloted not by a test pilot but by the Chief of Staff of the Republic of Korea Air Force, ROCAF, General Lee Young soo The primary focus of the test was on the aircraft's maneuverability characteristics and the accuracy of its avionics and control systems. During the flight, the fighter jet executed a series of maneuvers over South Korea's southern coast, reaching speeds exceeding 1,000 km per hour at an altitude of approximately 4,500 meters. The test also evaluated the aircraft's interaction with other ROCAF jets, including the KF-16. The KF-21 Boramay is a next-generation 4.5-generation supersonic fighter jet being developed as part of the Korean Fighter Experimental KFX, program. The initiative aims to reduce South Korea's reliance on foreign military imports and replace aging platforms such as the F-4 Phantom II and KF-5 Gagoho. The project involves KAI and the Agency for Defense Development, with contributions from over 225 domestic companies, 10 research institutes and 15 universities. International partners include Indonesia's PTDI, now Indonesia Aerospace. Lockheed Martin as well as component suppliers such as GE, Martin Baker, Cobham, and Leonardo. The KF-21 completed its maiden flight on July 19, 2022, and underwent an interim combat suitability assessment in May 2023. The first mass production contract was signed in June 2024, and by November of the same year, the aircraft had completed 1,000 accident-free sorties. The program includes approximately 1,000 test flights with frontline deployment expected by 2026. The ROCAF plans to acquire 120 units, with 40 produced between 2024 and 2028, Block 1, and 80 more from 2029 to 2032, Block 2. Most aircraft will be single-seaters, with a limited number of twin-seaters designated for pilot training. During the recent test flight, General Lee and test pilot Major Wu Hong Jiayun assessed the key flight characteristics and integration of onboard electronics. Notably, the test featured an evaluation of the Active Electronically Scanned Array, ASA, radar, developed by Korean engineers and manufactured by Hanwha Systems. The KF-21 was designed with stealth capabilities in mind, incorporating low-observable technology such as recessed antennas, curved air intakes, composite radar-absorbing materials, and specialized duct and surface designs. The cockpit is equipped with an advanced avionics suite, including a helmet-mounted targeting system. The aircraft's armament includes an integrated 20mm M61A2 Vulcan gun and a wide range of guided munitions such as AIM-9X, AIM-120, Taurus KPD-350 Iris T Meteor and South Korea's domestically developed Kianryong missiles. The KF-21 project aims to achieve an 80% localization rate in production, ensuring South Korea's independence from foreign suppliers for critical components. The aircraft is expected to replace older models including the KF-16U by 2039 and the F-15K by 2049. Additionally, export versions such as the KF-21SA for international markets and the KF-21N for carrier-based operations are under development. Test flights of the twin-seat variant play a crucial role in confirming the aircraft's performance and safety, marking a significant milestone toward serial production and full-scale deployment within the ROCAF.